number 7 then from the 2017 advanced tyre here we go, 6 marks for matrices little question on 2x2 two two, various 2x2 two two matrices with letters in them X, Y and Z hmm. anyway, first part for 1 mark given this matrix here given its, its determinant is 2 what's the value of X and associated with it, part 2 what's the inverse of this matrix well the first part would be if the determinant of P is 2 that means that the product of the main diagonal negative x minus the product of the other diagonal so that would be minus negative 10 should come to 2 well, taking the x across because that's a 10 means x is 8 and so for the second part I'll just put it here if p is therefore equal to 8 2 negative 5 negative 1 what's its inverse equal to? Well, you would need to know its determinant, but you do. It's 2. It's 1 over the determinant times, then it's switch the main diagonal, so that's negative 1, 8, and reverse the signs of the other 2 on the other diagonal. So negative 2, 5, and that's about it. And there was a third part. Obtain inverse of P times the transpose of Q. You have to work out what's the inverse of P times the transpose of Q. Well, now that you know it, the inverse of P was a half of negative 1, negative 2, 5, 8. And the transpose of Q simply means changing the rows into columns. The first row, 2, negative 3, becomes the first column. The second row, 4y, becomes the second column. So presumably that's one mark just for doing this. But I still don't see the point of that y. So now I've got a half of, it's just case I'm multiplying it all out. So that will be, it's just like the scalar product of horizontal and vertical vectors. So you've got negative 2 plus 6, so that's a 4. You've got negative 4 minus 2y, well, nothing you can do with that. You've got 10 minus 24, so that's a minus 14. And you've got 20 plus 8y, and there's nothing you can do with that. Except in this case, you can absorb that factor of a half. That can go inside now and drop all those numbers by 2. So that goes to 2, and that's negative 2 minus y, and that's negative 7, and that's 10 plus 4y. And there's a part B for another two marks. It gives you this third matrix, R, which has got a, a Z in it. And it says this. What's the value of Z such that R is singular? Well, singular means that the determinant of R should equal zero. So that's just like question one part A then. You know the determinant, find the value of a letter inside it. Ah, well... Well, that means that, so what's the, just the same as that, what's the determinant? It's the product of the main diagonal, which is negative 30, minus the product of the other diagonal, which is negative 2z, and that should come to 0. So you've got 2z equals, don't really need to do this, 2z equals 30, so z equals 15.